Hey y'all, what's up everybody? It's just Jessica and today I'm going to use a palette. Uh, it's, it's new. It just came out. Um, I was, I got it on the day it launched. I got it exactly the minute it launched because I was very excited for this. And I'm talking about the Cursed Cosmetics Spell, spell Book Palette. Okay, so this is a very nice company. Um, like when I do a picture, they post it. Um, they always, you know, they message me and they're like, well, excited that you got your palette. Please do a look. And I'm like, oh, cool. Of course I will. Do a look in a video. And um, it comes in the sleeve. And you take the sleeve off. And this is what the palette looks like. So the thing is about this, this is a good vacation palette. Okay, you can take this good. I haven't used it yet, even though it just came back from vacation. Um, this is very sleek and thin. You can just easily put it in your makeup bag or your purse or whatever. Then they gave me these swatch stickers or, you know, decal stickers. Very pretty card. Okay, I'm, I'm jealous of this bitch. She is so gorgeous. Look at those lips. Look at the fucking hair, right? What I really like about this card, it shows you can do a normal look with such a flippy, cool-ass palette. I'm going to leave their Instagram handle down in the link below. I'm, they make really good lip potions. That's the next thing I want to get. But um, I like this because she doesn't have like... I, I'm all for create, being creative, but I feel like some... Well, I think that sometimes those are the only ones that gets, get their pictures posted. Or the ones that have like one eye done. It's a close-up. They got these big lashes. And it's really good. And I don't know how they do it. But I'm 45 going on 46. And I'm not done playing around yet. But I don't have necessarily the skin. I could do a creative looks. I've done plenty of them on my channel before. But my problem is it takes me for fucking ever. And then it's like... You know, my boss at work, she's kind of cool. She doesn't care. But anyways, let's get into this palette. I'm going to go see my dad today. I'm picking up my choo-choo. And, um, oh my gosh. Let's swatch a few, right? Okay, it's always really hard. Let me read what's in the inside. Okay? It says, protected by moonshine, this set provides magic. May your brushes be charmed. May your wounds conjure, <laughs> conjure face, faces. May you produce beautiful craft. May you design a binding spell. May they see beauty within. May they feel love the love spell. Mm. So it's very hard to do a white. That's not even a white. This is called bones. So it's not a white white. Okay. I would use that more for like a base color. But I'm going to prime my eyes, uh, my eyes with the e.l.f. eye primer. Never used it before. It was on sale at TJ Maxx. Um, let me see. What color should I use? I'm like, fucking God. Okay, I'm going to use black, definitely. Okay. I found them through using the curse. Okay, that's a lot better than the Paranormal palette, the black there. Because the Paranormal palette, to me, oops, sorry, y'all. I've got to get that. I've got to get that makeup towel because I know y'all are going to make fun of me. Um, the black and the paranormal palette I, it didn't work for me too much, but everything else did. But white and blacks are kind of like a tricky thing. Okay, so this is what I'm kind of going for. This is a topper. You pat this on. Fucking look at that. That's gorgeous. Then there's like a gold, like a copperish gold. Let's see. Oh, beautiful and then there's a gold gold right yeah I know I'm swatching it all with the same finger who cares I like that one and um, so I think I'm going to use this blue because y'all know I'm a sucker for blues I am a sucker for blues oh that's a nice matte there are some shimmers there is this light blue shimmer now, this is really creamy. Ooh, check that out. Oh, and she keeps going, too. Okay. Um, and I think for the bottom, I think for the bottom, I kind of want to go for this orangey color. Oh, yeah. I'm going to use those, and I'm going to use one of these on the top. 
So let me go ahead and prime my eyes and I'll hit you guys right back. Okay, for the first color, I'm going to go with sticks and stones. Just, uh, you know, a little bit of transition color kind of thing. I don't know what kind of brush I'm using. It has a name, but... Oh, it's a profusion brush. Ooh, I didn't even remember I had those. <laughs> okay, so let's go into this. So I do have, like, I can use the best formulas, and I'm going to tell you, like, oh, I like this. This is a nice grayish color. But, like, with good palettes, I have, like, two spots, one on each eye that doesn't like to take color very well. Like, it'll take it, and an hour later, it's, like, disappeared on the one spot, and it just does that with me. So I'm not going to use tape today, which I kind of wanted to. I'm just going to cut it after. Okay, so this color is really nice. This is a nice grungy color. I like it a lot. That blended out really good. Of course, I'll go over it later again. And I kind of do bring it all the way up to the eyebrow. But who cares, okay? So the next one I'm going to use is that beautiful blue. And I'm going to use kind of like just a flat brush so I can um, place it where I want to. Okay, let me knock it off. Oh, pretty. I'm going to put it right above my crease. Oh, that is a stunning blue. Let me knock it off and forget. Because I already did my face, y'all. I just got to do like, you know, blush and highlight. Oh, wow. Okay, this palette was 28 something, I think. And, okay, let's put a little right there. Just a little. Let me go out a little bit. And uh, I think I did a discount code. I forgot whose it was. It gives, oh, there's discount code, magic, okay? Um, and with the discount code, I'll put the link from the website down below <clears throat> and their Instagram handle so that you can easily go to their website and uh, just code magic. I'm not an affiliate or anything. They're just very nice people. I've had a brand be really mean to me, so I'm like, this is a change. Um, I really like these people. And anyways, oh, it's such a fucking nice blue. See, I can always get this. My eyes are not the same. I can always get this one out, but that one I always really have to work on. So I'm not going to blend that yet. I will, but just not yet. Okay, yeah, because I kind of like fucked up at the bottom. Oops, sorry about my language. Let me rip this on my pants. My dad, I'm going to go see my dad, and he's going to be like, what the hell did you do today? I'm be like, well, you know already. So, like, dad, really? He's 70, so he's not used to this kind of stuff until I started a few years back. Okay, so... Oh my god, you guys. I don't think I'm going to use... Uh, from a cut crease the gold or the copper I kind of want to but I'm going to use I'm going to put the shimmer all along my cut crease and I'm going to put this beautiful color on top of it this beautiful shimmer okay so I'm going to cut my crease I'm going to kind of straighten this up and then I'll hit you right back so I'm going to use that color let me rip off this brush real quick Oh, it's going to be like 90 degrees today. So I did the cut crease kind of, kind of small. Well, whatever. It's not really small. But <laughs> I did it a little smaller and I did it thin because I didn't want it to like run down or anything. I don't think it will. I really don't. I think it's going to be just fine the way it is. Oh, this is a pretty, pretty light blue. I'll have to fix the rim on it. I'll really have to perfect this up after I'm done just to do a picture because I I look different on camera than I do on pictures and 
I do I have to do my own so it's kind of like a little harder and I don't edit my pictures except for if I like expand the size because I think that's cheating today is the last day though that's for sure I got oh I got it I got a concealer booger right here I'll get that out uh, anyways, I got a Q-tip up here. Let me fix that and I'll hit it. I'll put the glitter. Right, let's screw around with this glitter, shall we? Oh, this is so pretty. I, I can't get it to show up. It's got like these rainbow little colors in it. I'm going to have to... Oh, this is really fucking nice. You know what? I might use this and the gold. Probably, it's probably not going to match. But you know, you live and learn when you play around with makeup. I got it all over my lids, but that's my fault. So I haven't had any, like, seriously fallout or anything after I knocked off my brush. I can go ahead and say that's a good thing. This is my eyebrow brush, but I've got to get those glitters off because I'm fixing to put on some. Oh, yeah. Folks, fix and put on some lashes, and I cannot stand it when there's glitter and cakey shit on it. Okay. So now I'm going to go for the gold. Sound like an Olympia person in the Olympics. Oh, shit. This is nice. Yeah, the both of them mixed. Just a little hint of the gold. Both of them mixed are really, really nice. So I'm just tapping it on, y'all. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to touch it up with that blue. But first I'm going to get a brush and kind of like just sweep the excess away so I won't have it in my face all day. I'm going to go back into that blue, that darker one, and just touch up the outsides where I was. I'm so digging this. Okay. It gets just deeper and deeper the more you put it on. I'm really loving that. So with glitters, I tend to put on a liquid eyeliner, not the eye pin, just because it eats up my glitters. I just like, I just prefer to use the liquid brush. And I do use the Dollar Tree one, especially if I'm using uh, falsies. So I'm going to go underneath my eye with that, that pretty orange. Let's see how good it shows up. Oh yeah, that complements it pretty good. But I do think I'm going to add a little bit of that pink between the blue and the orange. See, there's, it's like a reddy, reddish color, and it's called Sacrifice. It's the little red one right there. Let's just put it like right where the blue and the orange meet. Yeah, that's a, uh, it comes over a lot better. I'm going to brush that off and put some more orange. Okay, so I'm going to do my lashes and my liner. And I am going to use a Lily Posh Lip today. I'm going to use this one. I think, I believe this is called Pumpkin. I'll hit you right back up down just a little bit, this light here. Come on, turn down a little bit. So this is it. But I'm, you know, we were just, I was just talking to y'all about creative looks. Here's something really simple. And it's, every time I do it, I get compliments. This is a stamp eyeliner. They have moons, hearts, stars, and this is the flower one. <clears throat> if you put this on the side of your eye, or wherever you want to do it, and stamp it, put one out there, just stamp it like that, and put that away. <laughs> In the land of the lost. And then you take a white eyeliner. Just to make sure you tip off the brush. Good. And then between 
the circles. You just put a little dot, a little dot, a little dot. Like that. That is a really pretty, pretty thing to see. And um, that's that's a fast way to get a little creative if you're not in the mood to be all um, like detailed and intensive. So, anyways, I'm going to do the lips. I've got some Ofra highlighter on. I was going to do my Luna from Lily Posh, but she is like way under some stuff. So, where now? Where up? Oh, there she is. So let me go ahead and put her on. I thought the flowers would match good with my shirt. It's supposed to be like 90. It's, oh, I can't believe I can't believe how hot it's gotten. So yeah, the next thing I want to get from them is definitely the lip potions. They have a really good review on those. This is my favorite one from Lily this color right here I like it. it goes with everything but I do really want a red and I like her chocolate brown it looks black but it's chocolate brown I like that one too so and while we're at it let me go ahead and put on a lip gloss I always use the same lip gloss from Jeff Jeffree Star and that's that safe word I'm going to use succulent today I always do that oh it smells so good so Oh, it has such a nice shine. Let's do the top. And it didn't bother the lippy at all underneath it. So, you guys, that's it for today's video. I just wanted to show you this Spellbook palette. The one thing, uh, if there's one thing for sure I can tell you about it. You can do a lot with this. Look, you got your neutrals. You got your little spring colors. You've got your nighttime shades. You've got, you can do so much with this. Um, so it's definitely my money's worth. Um, a lot of palettes I get in like in bags and boxes. Um, I really have to like one that I actually go to the website and purchase one. So I can just go ahead and say, check out the website. Use code MAGIC. I think you get 10 or 20% off. Let me see. You get 20% off. So anyways. See y'all the next one. Love you so much.